what up guys welcome back to the channel and surprisingly i'm actually gonna make this video um i wasn't really planning on making a video today um the next upload was supposed to be saturday but tj hunt just unveiled which is one thing that i've been waiting but he unveiled the 2022 stock body body kit for his um, company for street hunter designs and I've been waiting for it for a while. I knew not to really rush into like wings, side skirts, front lips, um, just because you gotta give the aftermarket companies to be able to get the cars and be able to actually start manufacturing parts. Um, I went to Willow Springs a couple weeks ago and I ran into people that work at Sybin. I don't know if they're the owners or just the sales reps, but they gave me the business card and I asked them about the 22 BRZ and they told me that they barely got the car. I gotta give them a couple months for them to start developing some hood. So I'm just gonna be using my laptop instead of post editing. I'm sorry guys, I'm just kinda lazy. Um, this is their website and this is pretty much all the products they offer. I believe TJ Hunt and the rest of them that made the company, I believe they made it around 2020 when COVID hit. And I'm pretty sure he thought it was a great idea to start manufacturing car parts for his brand. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's a really good business move. Just look at the prices on this. It's like two grand, 1600. Um, I think this is a really expensive body kit for the C8. Um, I think it's around like 17,000 if you do all full carbon. So the reason I'm showing you guys this is just to show you guys like kind of like an estimate on how much the parts are gonna be. I know I know that the C8, the Supra, they're all over $50,000. I mean, I think a base C8 is around like $60,000. Um, RX-7s, uh, that's pretty normal, $1,300 um, for a hood. I think for the TS one that I bought for Saibin, it was like a grand, uh, maybe a little bit less. So be prepared to cough off a good amount of money um, for these parts, especially if you get them in carbon. Because look at that, $1,600 for that hood. $900 for a duck bill. That's, I guess, reasonable. And then side skirt extensions. Damn, two grand. Oh, that one, I think that one's a rip, in my opinion. But let me show you guys the car. I'm pretty sure that's what you guys care about. This is their Instagram. And there we go. And look at that, we kind of have some YouTubers there already. We have Randy, um, Illuminate Dude, another Bay Area vocal. A little stancy boy, but you know, everybody has a different taste. Obviously TJ Hunt, and then I don't know who this is. And I think this guy also has a, yeah, I believe he has like a supercharged BRZ. And just from the looks of it, hands down, this car looks really good. Some T37s. And as you can see, lip, carbon lip, carbon side skirt, carbon little rear splat, little fender vent, I guess you could say. And it looks pretty good. In my opinion, this is probably like one of the best parts. And let me show you guys the rear. So this is gonna be the little side splat. And then look at that. Look at that duck bill. It reminds me of the whale tail from the previous gen. And these actually remind me of the previous Gen STI um, parts. Cause if you remember on the old Gen, it had the little like for the STI ones for a TS model. And then so did the rear spat, but this is kind of like an updated version of it. So I feel like the Street Hunter team went very conservative when it came to this body kit. As you can see right here's the front lip. I wish they went more aggressive just because as you can kind of see in the regular BRZ, this part is like the sharp part. So it kind of has like two little pointy stuff. And now with this lip, it kind of like hides it. So now you kind of have just like a round, you just kind of have like a round lip, which in my opinion kind of sucks because I wish there was more definition, more aggression to the front car. In my opinion, the gr 6 comes with more of an aggressive bumper. Um, but I knew with the aftermarket support on the BRZ, you can make it look way more aggressive than what the GR86 is gonna look like. So I kind of wish that, you know, TJ kind of made this more aggressive. It's not bad, but 
it could have been better just for the aggressiveness. This is this is a part this is a part that I'm really really liking. It's like a duck duck bill whale tail, and all the other ones like the OEM ones from Toyota, um, Sard, and a couple other companies, they have it, but it doesn't look as like long from the back over here. This one almost looks like it captures a little bit of the rear. You see how like tall it is. So it really gives you like a good definition of like the the rear. It captures it like just kind of like goes a little bit higher. It's, as you can see, this is like the stock. It gives you like a good like probably four inches. Look at that, man! This car looks really good with this kit. Um, you guys are probably wondering what's this last slide, right? Well, that it's a little teaser um, from the company and TJ. And this is it. Obviously, they got to make the sock body kit and then they have to make the uh, white body kit. This actually looks really good. Look, big old wing in the rear. Um, it almost looks like it's center mounted, which is kind of cool. And then you could kind of see the girth right here of the rear wheel uh, or the over fender for the rear. The front it might be a little bit conservative, but you can see right here it has a little vents. So I've always liked that design. I always thought it looked cool. So I can't wait for that. And this almost looks like a different bumper, like a whole different front bumper, which I can't wait. And you guys know I have to do a wide body kit on this car. So Street Hunter team, TJ, if you want to sponsor me, I know I'm a small channel, but you would not be disappointed on how I make this car turn out. And one, some of the questions I have is the pricing. I feel like the prices are going to be on the little higher side. But hopefully he understands and the team understands this is like a $30,000 car. This isn't a C8. That's double the value. They got to understand that like, yes, aftermarket parts. Um, it, I understand that they're trying to make the, the company like kind of like a pandem um, or, you know, they're trying to make the company Street Hunter kind of like pandem, Montsuri, or it's like a, you know, a status um, brand. It's like a status brand, you know, when you get it, it's like, hey, whoa, that, that person has Louis Vuitton, stuff like that. I understand they're trying to do it like that, but I feel like, hey, this is a $30,000 car. Try to make the parts a little bit more reasonable. Um, I'm willing to pay the markup. I'm obviously not going to go with the full kit because, like I said, I don't like the front lip. Um, the side skirts, they're cool, but they're not for me. I like the TRD OEM ones. Those look pretty good. And in the rear splats, they just don't look that aggressive, but I do like them. So out of the whole thing for the sock body, the probably the only things I'm gonna get is just the side vents and then the duck bill. And that's about it. I actually noticed that there was no diffuser. It's okay that there's no diffuser because um, I'm gonna be running my Varus diffuser, but I wish he included like a diffuser to make it look more aggressive. But I do feel that he's gonna, he's saving those, he's saving the hood, he's saving the, diffuser for the wide body kit so i hope he releases that within like the next month or two so that's it guys i can't wait for him to actually start releasing these parts um if there's a pre-order i am gonna pre-order some stuff i actually can't wait to get the stuff put on the car and show you guys post some pictures post some videos you guys are wondering what's my overall take on this kit i love it i think it's it's a good kit it's like a oem plus and i was talking to one of my friends about it um, it's basically what STI should have done with this kit. Um, this is how it should, it should have came from factory. They should have done it like this already, but they didn't. And it's good that TG took the initiative and saw the error that they did, which I'm pretty sure that's why he made that video that one time when he bought all, that, all the STI stuff and saying it was such a ripoff, which it kind of was. Um, I already bought a couple STI parts and they were <laughs> really expensive. And I just didn't think they were really worth it um, for the price. But all in all, it's kind of to each their own. You know, some people like some designs more than others, right? And I feel like with this kit, it's going to go good. It already looks good in pictures. It already looks good just from this unveiling. I can't wait to actually see in real cars. And I can't wait for them to unveil the wide body kit. So yeah, guys, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see these parts. I'm obviously going to be ordering them for my BRZ. And I already have a lot of stuff on the car that I haven't posted videos for. Um, I got new wheels. 
I ordered some, I ordered some fog lights, um, which those won't get here for like three months, I believe. Um, I just ordered them like not too long ago, so it's it's gonna take a minute. But more and more mods, and then I ordered some STI goodies. So all that's kind of getting here in the next couple weeks. Um, but I'm like four videos behind that I gotta edit still for you guys. So hit that subscribe button, and as always, guys, good vibes, and until next time, peace.